All right, so let's take a look at that turnaround. Uh, anybody who knows this song, Samson and Delilah, knows that the turnaround, the chords are kind of tricky. Some speculation as to what's happening there. I'm here to help you break it down. Um, we're climbing up from B to D, and then resolving to G. That's what's happening in the bass. Okay, got a very gospel feel to these chords. Starts with the G7 inversion with that B in the bass. C. That's C sharp diminished, which is just like a C7 chord with the C sharp in the in the low end. There. Okay, so that's a four note chord, and it inverts every three frets. Same notes, they just get jumbled around in a different order. Okay, so so that that's another voicing of it. And we're gonna be using that a little later on, okay? Or this. Okay, that's the same thing. Okay, so G7, C, C sharp diminished, D7. Back to G. I will tear this old building down. All right. Now, none of the guys in the Grateful Dead play those voicings. I believe uh, Bobby likes it up here. I would tear this old building down. Something like that, right? See how that. It's the same voicing, right? Same notes, just inverted. Okay, so. D7. All right, but I think it's probably something like this. Or, right, and then back to G. I would. Using just these three, that's pretty clever. And Garcia, he plays the turnaround somewhat infrequently, but at the end of the tune on some live footage, you can see what he's doing. He's usually riffing out. Comes up and tags that C. And then you'll usually hear him go. Okay, so that's G with the third in the bass. C. Okay, and it's not a G7, which is funny. He's going for a, definitely like a brighter sound, almost like a Motown. Those kind of like Motown stabs. And this little partial C7 chord, okay, which is the diminished chord, but it omits the C sharp, actually. That, that's the note that the bass is carrying. So, so really all he's thinking is G major, C major, C7, D major. Okay, which could be like that, or you can go like that, and then back to G. All right, so those are the little voicings I see him grabbing. Okay, and then something like that. And he just goes tink, 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 usually just very, very, you know, staccato. Right, and then, and then back here. Now, those are some uh, those are some cool grabs. I definitely like those grips. Um, I tend to, when I sing this song and I'm singing the harmony in there, I tend to opt for a simpler and what I think of as, as a richer uh, voicing of the chords, which is that part's the same, but then I slide back here and form this, okay, which is gonna look to you like the top half of like an E flat dominant seventh chord. But that E flat is not the root, okay? It's it still is. All right. It, it should be if you if you must put a, a a note on the A string, it would be that E note. Okay, so that would be. And I just move that same shape down and grab the D seven, and then back. So the nice thing is the ring finger is staying. Anchored on the D string that whole time, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so you're like, right? So that's easy. Again, that ring finger is anchored there. B, C, right? I'm saying that the ring finger is fretting the B note 
as the third of the G chord, up, and we come back here. All right, see how that's, see how that's, all right, that's that C-sharp diminished sound. But I'm just playing the top part of it. And back a fret for the D7 chord. Back two frets and forming our little G chord. So, I really, really think that that's so much smoother and easier to play, especially while I'm trying to sing and harmonize with people in a band. But if you must, is what I think Garcia is doing. I'm not so sure about Bobby, like I said. And those are those are the chords, right? All right, a little gospel turnaround for you to get you through the Grateful Dead's uh, Samson Delilah turnaround. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're learning anything here, please share, like, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. 